Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today we are unboxing another um, auto spray sanitizer dispenser. So this is a dispenser that you know does uh, hand sanitizer, but uh, overall I'm using it for the uh, foam soap. Uh, it's just easier for you know like kids and stuff like that. Uh, this does say disinfectant alcohol, so you know like hand sanitizer, but I'm going to use it for our foaming soap. And I think that should work okay. Uh, and I will let you know. Well, it actually it says right here, uh, soap, liquid, and water. But I think foaming soap would replace this uh, portion right here. Um, let's see. This is... I forgot the brand of this. But I'll leave the link uh, below in a little while. Yeah, there's no real branding on this one. Uh, the model is uh, 201 PD. So I do have a couple of these and I love them because it's just uh, easier, especially for kids. Not sure what that is. Okay, here's the device. Comes with a charging cord, and I believe this one you can actually leave it plugged in and it'll, it'll work automatically. And then there's another tube device, I will have to hopefully the instructions will kind of give me a little bit more detail on this. Okay, so it's a one pager. Okay, so this one does say foaming soap uh, dispenser manual, and you can uh, plug it in, leave it plugged in, which is cool. So you don't have to really worry about uh, batteries running out. Okay, that just gives you instructions on how to do, how to clean your hand, on and off button, blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's go ahead and unwrap this here so you can see it. So right off hand, let's see, it looks, okay, here's the brain right here is a uh, chow, chow, chow. Child, and um, this sticker does come off, so I'll probably take this sticker off. Um, here's the sanitizer and health protection. It looks like this will peel off too. Oh yeah, sure does. I'll peel it off. Oh no, you can't. What? Okay, never mind. That is not a sticker. That actually needs to stay there. So let me push that back in, so I don't lose that little st sticker protection thing. Okay, so here's the sensor. Here's a nozzle. This is where you'll... No, no. Let's see. I believe the instruction is... You actually open this. Let's see. Okay, so you plug it in here. And I guess... Here, let me just go ahead and show you the full thing here. I thought the plug would be external, but I guess being internal like this kind of helps prevent water leakage into the device itself. And see how there's a little um, little hole, not a hole, but a little um, crevice, crevice <laughs> for the wire to come out of. So let's do it like that. Okay. I mean, so I do have one downstairs that does this, and the battery actually lasts a pretty long time. Um, so it shouldn't be too annoying, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it as this and just plug into a USB port and just have this power 24 seven, just for ease. So this is the power button. To take off the soap, I assume it's yanked downwards. Okay, let's double check here. Da, 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 da. So for sure you can't use those, those uh, thicker uh, liquid hand soaps. The typical ones you can usually find. And I've clogged up plenty doing that. So it looks like you pull down and kind of outwards a little bit. Oh man, I want to break this here. I don't see. It's because I know this down here kind of holds it in. So I'm thinking you just have to pull down and kind of angle it out 
which is still not cooperating with me here. Sorry, bear with me real quick. We are learning this together. <laughs> so da -da -da, remove container, pull the silicone plug out. Pull out the silicone plug. Yeah, so you do pull this out somehow. Sorry, let me try to do this off camera real quick. Okay, pulling down. Try to wiggle it out, and it's not really working. Wow, this is a lot more complicated than it should be. Okay, so yeah, yanked it out. So I, I just kind of pulled it out a little bit, and then I kind of pulled from the corner, and that kind of yanks it out. So, I'm trying to see. So, I'm assuming Wow, this really does not come with clear instructions, huh? Pull out the silicone plug. Because I'm thinking this needs to be in there to suck out the the juice, right? So, let's see. Is it broken? It's pretty strange. So, let me see. Maybe if I push this all the way in. So, I'm thinking that's how you do it. All right. And then... This go back in, and it should reach to the bottom to suck out the hand soap. I wish they had that installed. Liquid soap to replace the silicone plug, reattach the container, and slide it to the base until you hear the click. Press the power button. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so this is definitely just a little bit not as. So it's, it really restricts the uh, use foam soap mix with water ratio two to one. It's a good start to adjust your base. I mean, usually foam hand soap is already liquidy, so I don't know why. So I'm just trying to look at this down here. Um, I see this extra little plug here. I'm not really sure why this looks like that, but I assume this pushes in here, it locks into place. I'll push the tube up a little bit more. And then this goes in and you lock it into place. Yeah, I guess that's it. So let's see what we have in here. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, this is a pellet. Uh, I assume you add, put this into here and add water and maybe it becomes sanitizer for you, which I do not know, and this definitely does not really tell you. Anyways, I have my own soap, so I'm not, I'm not going to be using whatever this is. I'll probably just throw it away. Just make sure I don't check in the box. Hmm. And I just want to show you, so this is one of my previous video, and this one here, same thing. It does exactly the same thing. Um, of course, you know, it has soap residue a little bit, foam soap residue. But this one here, I've been using for ever since my unboxing video, my previous unboxing video. And it, it has only used up maybe, what is that, one-fourth of the liquid? And, you know, it's used on the, almost on the daily, right? And this one has the battery built in, so I actually kind of prefer this one. And it, it's last, I haven't recharged this may, except maybe once since I unboxed it. But it has only used this much uh, soap, which is, yeah, about a fourth. Um, let see, so it says 300 here. Looks like 200 here. So maybe use Sunny 5. Uh, middle, middle, middle liters. Yeah, sorry, I can hardly read any of this. So this says 350 here, but then it says 300 here. So I, I don't know. I don't really understand what they're trying to say here. <laughs> but this one I love so so far. So the reason why I picked up this one is because I wanted something to be just kind of plugged in and and set and forget, uh, other than refilling the soap. I just wanted to see what other options there are. I mean, this one is just very convenient because it's pretty small. As you can see, the size difference, the foot 
counter space that it will use up comp in comparison. This, this sensor works very well. Um, just a quick update. Um, if you leave your hand here, it'll just kind of keep shooting out foam. So usually what I do is just kind of uh, trigger it and then I lower it, lower my hand to kind of move away from the sensor. And it just gives you almost the exact amount of soap that you really need. So that's how I handle it. So I just kind of go like in and it starts dispensing and I just kind of lower my hand to get away from the sensor but still capture all the foam. So that's how I use this one. Just a little update on the, on this one from the previous unboxing video. But I love this one. Um, so I'm gonna be refilling this and I'll use this one and, and I'll let you know how it goes. Again, this one's a, you could use battery, triple A, or you just leave it plugged into a USB port. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these uh, USB plugs, so I'll use one of those and I'll let you know. Cause it doesn't come with one, FYI. But I'm sure a lot of people have extra plugs in their cell phone and stuff like that. Um, the instructions was not as clear as I hoped, but at least here, you know, it tells you how to turn it on. Should always be staying upright, of course. Yeah, so overall, the instructions on how to turn it on is simple. Uh, to set it up, there is no instructions, as you can see here. You can pause and see. Maybe I, I'm just not reading it correctly. But this just tells you how to set it up. And it does include this part that says, then replace the silicone plug, which this was just sitting inside the box, right? So I don't know. But I, I think I put it in right. I, I'm not sure what this part is supposed to be represents and why it's there. And I'm hoping this will create enough suction from this little tube here. And it should go in here. And it looks like it didn't really touch the bottom. So it looks like you always have a little bit of liquid stuck at the bottom. As you can tell, it's almost a half an inch from the bottom. Or maybe when you plug in. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. So maybe once I shove it in all the way, it'll be right about there. Okay, so it looks like it, it reaches the bottom. Well, uh, I'll give you an update in the description to make sure I got this part right since there's no real instructions on it or even a small little quick diagram. And I will also just use my plain foaming hand soap. And I'm not gonna do this mix because they're saying mix it with water to dilute it even more to make it thinner, but my hand soap is already like this one right here, where it's just pretty liquidy. So I'm not gonna add any water. And I'll, I'll update in the description if I have any issues of using direct uh, foam soap liquid without mixing in extra water. I'll leave that in the comments, okay? So again, this is a confusing <laughs> unboxing for child. Uh, foaming soap dispenser, alcohol, sanitizing dispenser, you know, which whichever you want to use for. All right. It's a long video of just me mumbling, I guess, because this one wasn't as straightforward as, as I thought. But I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you leave a comment below and watch one of my other videos. All right. Thanks.